what do you think the world will look like? Do you think technology will do everything? Do you think there will be peace and no more suffering? Do you think humans will have destroyed ourselves and the planet? Do you think our world will look like TV shows or movies that predict post-apocalyptic conditions? Four to six complete sentences. You don't have to check them out. Just use them today. So we got a we got a really cool short story to read today. It's on page. It starts on page two fifty eight to two fifty nine. The story, uh, maybe process the story, maybe go a little bit deeper than the surface. Uh, so right here on the, the first the first item that we're going to do is to predict. Okay, just like we did with the bell work, predicting what will happen in 100 years. We're going to look at the first two pages, just the first two pages. Don't turn the page, just these first two. And you, you can explore, don't turn it. You can explore anything on these pages. You can look at the pictures. You can read about the author. You can look at the title. Anything you want. And we're going to make a prediction about what this short story is going to be about. Why do you think there might be more? So he read. He read about the author. What's it say about the author? So atomic bomb testing's going on. Cold wars kind of happening, and this science fiction writer is writing this story. So. That's a that's a great prediction. May it, of the war is some sort of what's an inference? A guess. Is it a Maybe. guess on what? Based on what you see. Based on what? What you hear. Based on what we hear or see. So we have this story about a house. Okay? And our bell work and what we did right. It's like there we go. Okay, we got a story about a house, and we predicted at the start, and so a prediction is about the past or the future? The future, right? So here's our prediction. So what is, what is, an, what is an inference? What are we trying to figure out? What's going on? So we know what's going on now. An inference, are we looking for what's going to happen next or what happened before? We're going for what happened before. So here's our inference, right? So we're, we have a house, and we're trying to figure out two things. Where are the people, and what's up with the house? Can anyone infer what's up with the house, or where are the people? Yeah? Um, I don't know. They're going somewhere, but the house is, like, the only house. I mean, probably, I don't know. Where? So it is the only house. Anyone else? What is that? It has a schedule. What do you mean by that? Like it knows what to do at the same time. So technology is involved. Okay. Anyone else want to talk? Yeah. Okay. So we have a house on a schedule that's self-automated, right? So we could write that. What's up with the house? Technology. Maybe a smart house, right? And then, why do you think they're all dead? 
the world. So, but where, where are you getting? So, inference is I put logical conclusions. So we need, we need something in the text that points to that. Yeah. So we have, that's a great clue. So we have a radioactive glow. That's brilliant. And then why, why do we know that there's no people? It's the only house. So do you guys read the part about the silhouette? Okay, so if I, if I was standing here like this, and you threw a bucket of paint at me, what would happen if I stepped away? There would be paint everywhere but where I was standing, right? So what, what do we think? Maybe a blast happened, and what happened with the silhouette? So where they were standing, does that make sense? So maybe there's, you know, it's an outline of this person. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, silhouette. That's, yeah, that's a really great way to think about it. And use evidence, that was sweet. Okay, so at the last...